I'm very excited for Karen's new storylines in season seven, but the sister that is next in line for all of my excitement and joy with her storylines is Sabrina. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this one, we're going to talk about how Sabrina looks like she's making it official with Rich in season seven. If you're new here, hit that bell notification and that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations. And without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about Miss Sabrina Hollis. Okay. So we know that she's back at the bank. She's been cleared of all charges. She's moving onward and upward with her life. One thing that I have been begging Tyler to do for the Sabrina character for the last four seasons is give her a little bit more meat on the bones. My good sis Novi can act down, honey. She can handle drama, comedy. She can pretty much do it all. And we need to see storylines that reflect that. Miss Mamas has been camped out in the back of the sister circle talking about woo woo woo. And, you know, while we all love a Sinclair James, even Sinclair James had her moments to shine. But season seven looks like it's about to be Sabrina's moment to shine. I've already mentioned in my um, trailer breakdown as well as my synopsis breakdowns and, um, the video that I did talking about the over 20 something new characters that are coming to the season, how, you know, a few of Sabrina's storylines are very meaty. She's trying to freeze her eggs. So she's future planning for a family. I wonder if they're going to revisit the conversation about, you know, her getting a home of Initially she was going to bail use her money that the down payment for the home to bail out Maurice. She didn't need to do that. So there's a lot to do, right? There are two new characters that are tied to um, Sabrina in the storyline of her and Rich actually being a thing like actually being a thing and I'm excited for that too because even with the introduction of Calvin as her like beau they never really made it official they were always operating in a very weird space she jumped way too soon into bed with this man and they kind of like hovered around the situation ship uh, cut buddy thing and I believe that this is not going to be that with Rich and I'm looking forward to that I think that Sabrina from what we've gotten to see thus far is a relationship type of girl she is a, a monogamy type of girl she wants to focus on one person and enjoy their company and have new experiences and just really connect deeply in that way so I think that's what we're going to see play out with her and Rich as she goes into making it official but to talk about the two characters specifically um Rich takes Sabrina out on a date in season seven for her birthday and the waiter is described as um cheery arrives at rich and sabrina's table with a lit pink cupcake to help celebrate sabrina's birthday made uncomfortable when sabrina gives him a stern look after he asks how old she is first of all don't be asking no ladies they age like do you want this tip or no <laughs> but i'm looking forward to that eat that too because we don't get to see sabrina really bite back too much we she's so passive and she's so nice and she's so kind but like you know that could be the moment the spark that is the thing that's going to send her down the road of like considering researching and going looking into freezing her eggs because she's a woman of a certain age and she knows that she still wants to have kids and she you know all of that um the point about your age becomes a very real thing as you're navigating your 30s right now i'm not sure if this is the moment where she's going to find out from rich that he don't want to have kids but i'm pretty sure that the asking of the age is a very big tentpole moment and then a conversation ensues and then we get more information from there but though again these are just my speculations based off of what we've been given with the character descriptions and if you haven't seen any of the character descriptions i have them listed out for you on my website ericavane.com the link is in the description box down below the second character who I believe is tied to the confirmation that they are actually a thing um, is Dr. Moore and Dr. Moore is doing a video call and this is a fertility doctor, but they're doing a video call with Sabrina to put her mind at ease as she talks um, about her desires to freeze her eggs or perhaps some embryos. And um, the doctor becomes concerned when Sabrina mentions to her that her partner does not want to have children. So Sabrina clearly is like, you know, the guy I'm with, my boyfriend, my partner, which means it's a little bit more official. It's a little bit more heavy. And um, it also denotes that they actually 
at least started this conversation. It might not have had a big in-depth conversation, but her and Rich have talked about kids enough for her to know that he's not interested. And if we know Sabrina, y'all, and I think we kind of know Sabrina, when he says that he don't want to have kids, she is not going to push back in that moment. She is not going to probably, maybe she might X, Y, but she's going to try to do it from a place where he don't feel judged or anything. I don't even think that Rich is going to get the inkling that this crushes Sabrina as deeply as it's going to crush her. And I think that she's going to go through this whole process of like looking into freezing her eggs and stuff on her own. And this is what, this is why I'm really excited for the Sabrina storylines, because I feel like so much of sisters... The story is in the nuance and it's not just with the big dramatic beats in the in the cliffhangers, but walking th through this process with a woman, with a black woman in her mid to late 30s that now has to negotiate with herself some of the things that she had dreamed of for her entire life, probably since she was a little girl and specifically the conversation around motherhood, she could really enjoy Rich's company. He could be a perfect gentleman. He could be an amazing man doing amazing things. But this one thing they don't align with, and now she's stuck at a crossroads and has to, to basically make a decision. And to for all sense of purposes, a lot of times we prolong that decision. So we'll stay in that relationship um, in the hopes that this person will change, or maybe I will change because you know why not? And it this, the pen, this, the 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 pickings have been slim thus far. So like, who am I to throw this great man back? And these are all things that happen, whether, you know, outright, like you're expressing it verbally or women think it internally and are trying to process it. And I would love, 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 love to see them take Sabrina through this full journey. Now, I'm not going to say whether Rich is great or trash or whatever. Like, I know, I know y'all, I already have picked a side with Tony, but Rich, I'm really still trying to suss him out and really figure him out. I'm not going to say, oh, he's trash because he doesn't want kids because what he wants for his life is what he wants for his life. So much of dating is which people need to realize is like being aligned. You could be sexually attracted to somebody. You could be, you know, um physically attracted to somebody so like just you know how they look you love exactly how their faces is, is put together or shaped or whatever their skin and hue, whatever you can love certain things about people but when we are out here and we are dating we also need to figure out not only do our lives align in the present but would our lives align in the future are we trying to go to the same place because so many failed relationships fail because at the very beginning y'all weren't headed in the same direction but you thought that you were going to hop in the same car and at some point somebody got to give up the car and walk because y'all asses are not going in the same direction and that is just that conversation just makes me so excited because it's so relatable it's so real like I have been in love in, in certain seasons. Well, this was specifically in my 20s. Been in love, okay? And we are in two opposite spectrums. Like, And you're just trying to make it work. And yes, relationships can be tough. Nothing in life is easy. And relationships, all relationships, whether romantic, platonic, familial, whatever, take work. But there are certain pieces of work that are not going to be beneficial to the relationship. And if the work looks like you trying to change yourself or try to change your partner in a way that does not align with who that person wants to be or who you want to be or what y'all want for each other, then y'all doing the work in vain because it's never going to, to sprout any type of um, nourishing or valuable fruit anyway I'm excited for this particular storyline I'm excited for Sabrina to commit to Rich and to decide to be with him and then to be presented with this hiccup and then now you have to decide what am I going to do are the dreams that I had since I was a little girl more important than this relationship I'm in what does happiness look like like I don't even know what motherhood looks like yet I just know that I think that I want it but do I want it that bad if I really am in love with this man like there's so much to discuss and now it's your turn let me know what you think in the comment section down below about Sabrina and Rich becoming girlfriend and boyfriend and then her moving into um, life as a woman in a committed relationship who might not actually have the same goals as her man. Thank y'all so much for listening. It's your good sis, you let us talk TV with. And YouTube thinks that you would love to watch this video next. So go ahead and click it so we can keep this band session going.